a long form is, is that you're looking to house, um, mm. teach financial literacy, anything financial literacy. Oh, you have to do the long form, Got right? It. Anything with housing, churches, um, providing um, a building for a mentorship program, a gym, a facility, anything like that, you have to do the long form. A lot of people are not going to break down the difference to you because why the long form costs more and they want you to do that. But I always mm -hmm. walk my client through the process. And sometimes yeah. I may say to them, you know what? Because I, I, I know them, I probably said, this person ain't going to get out and do nothing for the next three years. So go ahead and do the short form. Once you start building that um, yeah, your business, your board, then come back and we'll redo your, your um, 501c3 to the long form. Gotcha. Now, and the thing also, the thing about the short form is that if you do do a short form and someone walks up like you and say, Crystal, I want to give you $50,000 mm -hmm. or I want to give you property, I cannot receive it. The mm. IRS will flag me because the because person it's a cannot, short form. it's a short form. Oh, wow. Okay. It's a short form. And people huh. get sucked into doing stuff and don't know it. But me, I'm up oh front. I'm going to tell you which one is best for you and yeah. the reason why I do what I do. Now, let's take it a step further, right? They got the form. You helped them do that. 